Hey friends, I'm coming at you today in a completely different location with an Aiden West. My husband Ross and daughter Rebecca are out of town this week. They're on the STEM tour in San Francisco and so I have the house to myself and so I'm gonna try some different locations for filming. <laughs> and so today, welcome to my living room. Y'all, when we bought this house, this room is actually what kind of sold it for me. The ceiling is red. I think I'm probably gonna have to like put a picture in because I know that I would mess up something with the camera if I didn't. But the ceiling's red and I was like, you know what? I'd never have the guts to paint a ceiling red and I love it, so I need this house. And there we are. <laughs> and then my dining room has like the opposite. It's like a gray ceiling and then red walls. And so, I don't know, yeah, the red ceiling sold it for me. Today, I have a gift card for a giveaway. This is a $50 Nadine West gift card. Y'all, full disclosure, I don't know how good of a gift this is. <laughs> Okay, the reason that I have this gift card is because I did my last Nadine West. I opened it, y'all haven't seen it, and sadly you're not gonna get to see it because <sighs> my microphone, and you guys know, those of you who've been around, my microphone has had tons of issues. I'm literally on my third microphone and I finally ended up splurging and getting a nice one. My husband was like, okay, hold on. So if you buy a $30 microphone and it messes up and then you buy another $30 microphone and it messes up. He's like, how many microphones do you have to go through before you actually buy a decent microphone? <laughs> and so after like my third uh, video is just scrapped. I mean, I've had a lot of videos that have some really cruddy audio, but like my last stitch fix, oh y'all, it's unusable and it's so sad. So now I would love to show you the products that I kept for my last name, Nadine West, but Literally, this is it. This came in, you know how they include some jewelry in there? This card came in the jewelry. And the bizarre thing is that like the numbers are on the back of the gift card. So if I was like a shady character, I could probably like write them down and send it back. But it was in there for $15. So this is this giveaway is only worth $15, <laughs> but it is a $50 like in merchandise gift card. So um, at the end of the video, I'll give you all some rules that I'll make up between now and then. And <laughs> you can have $50 to spend. So basically it'll give you like a chance if you want to try Nadine West. I haven't had the best luck. Like I said, last one, this is all I kept. My first one, I kept a little purple card again. <laughs> let me show you because you weren't here for the last one. Uh, let me show you some little highlights. Like in my last box, I literally, okay, y'all I'm in Houston. The, Nadine West is like in San Antonio. They should know better. I got two, like not one. <laughs> but two crushed velvet cardigans. Like, I don't know anyone that needs one crushed velvet cardigan, like let alone one crushed velvet cardigan in the middle of the summer, but I got two of them. I got one that actually would match my room pretty well. It looked very delightfully Christmassy. It was kind of this um, burgundy, beautiful red color, but it was still crushed velvet. It was still a cardigan. I still didn't need it. And then I got one that was black. It kind of reminded me of those like old smoking jackets that, <laughs> I don't know, it looks like something Hugh Hefner would wear, but um, that wasn't like incentive enough to keep it. So <laughs> I wrote Nadine West. I started to say, I really apologize y'all because I'm in my living room. My dog Lulu has like full reign to everything and she is playing with a toy. I may end up having to take her toys away. But, <laughs> but yeah, so the gift card is literally all I kept and I kept it for you guys. My idea was to show you that video and at the end be like, hey, this is what I'm keeping for you and the video didn't happen. Um, I did write Nadine West afterwards, and I was like, you know what? I don't know that this is working for me. The biggest problem, like the crushed velvet cardigans were, were a problem, right? They were not great, but bigger than that, I had like 17 items, okay? So I'm gonna say that five of those were jewelry. Um, one of them was a gift card. Uh, so let's say that there were 11 items, okay? Of those 11 items, I had two cardigans, which were kind of like a one size fits all situation. And then everything else, like, I mean, I could get it on, but nothing fit. I wrote Nadine and I told her, you know, I'm concerned that these items aren't made for a plus size person. Like it says that they go up to these sizes and I don't feel like they do. I, I try them on and I feel worse about myself. You know, no one wants to get a bag of clothing that they have not opened and discover that it just absolutely doesn't fit. Sizes don't define us, but clothing 
does help make us feel good about ourselves. Like that's the whole reason that I'm doing this is that I want to feel good about myself. I want to show you that there are options out there, no matter what your size is and receiving an entire bag that's supposed to fit you and everything be either miserably fit or just nothing that you could walk out the door with is just not super encouraging. And that's just the way it is. So we're gonna see if she does any better. There are fewer items this time. You know, whenever Nadine West sends you something, basically you get a uh, you get a $10 charge. That $10, they call it a shipping fee. And then that way, in the event that you keep something, the shipping fee goes toward it. In the event that you don't, they are using it for part of shipping. And y'all, you know that this shipping has to be moderately expensive for them, especially whenever people aren't keeping stuff. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so that's kind of the way it works. I will tell you that in the event that nothing works in this bag, I'm at least putting it on a break. I do like the way that Nadine packages things. I, th I think that this is very pretty. We have all these little bundles in here. Y'all be careful whenever you open the pink bag because it is what you ship it back in. I just tape it. I mean, sorry. <laughs> I had to check and make sure. I'm not used to this kind of setup, and so I had to check and make sure that I w didn't have my head cut off because that was, you know what? I'm, I was lying to y'all. The problem was not that my audio was cruddy. Th that was my problem in Stitch Fix, but this one, it was this. <laughs> I just remembered it was that my head was cut off like here and I was in the room that I'm used to. Okay. That was, that's probably not encouraging. I'm a professional at work here y'all. Okay. They did tell me that they were making a note and that, that I should get some looser fitting pieces. I don't know. We'll see. These are not bad looking. They do not look like they're going to fit me. <laughs> see, but these are, Oh, y'all, check it out, butt sculpting. Prepare yourself for some amazing buns in the near future for you. Know, y'all are gonna get to see them. I don't imagine my butt's gonna get too dang sculpted in this. But yeah, these are, I don't know what we call this. What is this? It's, I mean, like a square pattern. It's a, it's not a plaid, like little squares, very geometric. It um, has, a, has a belt. Uh, we will see, I mean, it is, if you take the belt off it, it, it does have some good stretch to it. So that's, that's encouraging. This is, oh, this is very encouraging. Now this looks like it's something that would fit. It's a pretty floral. It's kind of an impure waist. The back is all nice and smocked. I love, y'all, I love me some florals. I'm a floral girl. I like the way that this is cut. See, it's, it's not just under the chest right here, but it also kind of contours up. And then it's got a little faux tie right there in the front. And it looks like, oh, sorry, y'all. Someone dared to walk in front of my house. <laughs> Lulu is not impressed. Okay, so I would say that this is, I don't know. It's like maybe mid-shin length. But I do think that it's cute. That's probably literally the most promising Nadine West item that I have ever received. Look at here. We've got some more florals. So I've got three little bundles in all. Maybe writing her last time scared her. She decided to actually send some things that weren't bad, bad. Okay, so this is a 3X. Okay, look, it's a dress. I did say I'd like some more dresses. This is a, just a black little A-line, almost like a little t-shirt dress, and it's a, I said black. It's plum and promising. Okay, all right, I'm not um, upset by it. Next, y'all, oh, cute. Okay, so this is really the same style. Okay. In that last one, I also had like multiples of the same style. Like I had two of those little sweaters. I had two of these shirts. Oh my gosh, I need to pull up these shirts. They were both like super gaudy. Like I want to say one was black with like chains printed on it. <laughs> it was wild. It was, it was like a wild bag. But yeah, this one is, um, it's like it's cheetah and tigers, like a cheetah tiger combination, a liger, if you will. Y'all know some Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I think that this is promising. Okay, I will say that I feel like I was heard this time and there is nothing quite like being heard. Oh, I don't know how well this is going to do on me shorty wise, but you know what? I say that all, I say stuff like that all the time and that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's got little cap sleeves. It is, and they're, they're actually kind of tulip sleeves. See, they, they cross over one another. This looks like it is 
Okay, it is hard for me to tell if this is black or navy behind the teeny tiny flowers. It's gonna be super short, I mean like almost crop. I don't know if that's the intention. It's got a little front tie. It has three little buttons. It'll be interesting on, but it looks way younger than I am. <laughs> okay, unless there's some things rolled up in here, I don't think that I got any uh, jewelry this time, which would be kind of odd. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find some appropriate underwear. <laughs> These are like super stretched white pants. I can see through them. They have no zipper or, so they're, they're kind of like little adorned leggings, but they do have pockets. So I like it when there's some pockets. Um, someone had written, and it may have been, it may have been whenever Nadine wrote me back, that the pants ran more like junior sizes. And y'all, whenever I was a junior, I was not junior sizes. So yeah, we'll have to see. It at least feels like maybe it could go around my body. So I appreciate that. <laughs> like, like, we'll take what we can get. Okay. Y'all, I'm impressed. Here's another 3X. This is a little black dress. It has some pretty little cuff sleeves. It has a tie around it. It has a little bit of pleating up front that gives it a slightly structured look. All right, nice. And then, perchance the last item. This is a really pretty little floral. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Typically, I don't love button-ups, but I'm happy to get one from Nadine, we'll see. I also typically don't like this kind of sleeve, but I also own several, so that doesn't always necessarily mean anything. Okay, so it says that I've got eight items, and then it says that I've got one gold <laughs> necklace <laughs> just fyi while i was looking for that i saw the price of the gold necklace and it is 35 dollars and uh y'all prepare yourself to be disappointed i'm gonna go ahead and take this out and show you because this looks like it would be an anklet on me all right for real okay i want you to look at my 35 dollars gold necklace okay so there is literally no chance that this would fit on my neck like None at all. Some people are way, it would work on some people, but it would not on me. So I gotta be super careful to get that back. I mean, it is delicate, it's pretty. I have heard that they, they have to include some jewelry. I have not been impressed by the jewelry. The first box, I think there was a bracelet that I thought ah, I could get maybe if I didn't like anything else. The last one, I mean, there wasn't anything that I really wanted to keep. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this guy goes back in the bag so that there is a 0% chance of me leaving it here and getting charged $35 for that. Okay, I think that we're gonna go and try some things on. Okay, I am impressed. This is a solid like, okay, on a scale of like fully disgracing myself on the internet to, oh my gosh, I love it. It's a five, okay. <laughs> um, Y'all, I mean, does it go with my skin at all? Absolutely not. Clearly soaking up vitamin D is not one of my favorite pastimes. Might it show my seasonally inappropriate underwear to um, unsuspecting folks around me? Possibly, but does it fit? Yes, <laughs> okay, five out of 10, I'll take you. <laughs> all right, so y'all, this, this little dress is cute, it's slinky. If it was in another print, I might consider it, and there's a purple one, so who knows? It has some cute little pockets. I'm not sure about the cheetah tiger combo. I like it better than every single thing that was in my last Nadine West bag. It was bad. It was not bad. <laughs> so bad. Yep, there's the Nadine West that I know and love, y'all. Um, <laughs> it could be cute if it came remotely to fitting, like I cannot lower my arms anymore. And that's my bra. Okay, both pieces do fit i mean like so these are just unattractive like there's plenty of room in them they're not every once in a while i'll try one of these on and you know feel like i'm gonna be torn in two they just draw so much attention to um, this section that is not my favorite draw attention to section of myself right <laughs> like yeah so the top it's okay-ish the top fits it's just not it, it doesn't fit the way I would like it to. Um, and with Nadine West, I kind of use the word like fit loosely, like the buttons aren't coming undone. Like that last top absolutely did not fit. And the interesting thing is I think that everything here is a 3X. Yeah, the sizes is just very greatly. Okay, first off, I was promised some butt sculpting and y'all nothing. <laughs> I mean like, yeah. So, um, disappointment. <laughs> it, 
it's fine. The, the belt does not fasten. These are 3X. It's not meant for like traditional 3X. This is the same top. This will be going back to Nating West. <laughs> All right, y'all, we have three more dresses and I hope that at least one of them is fantastic. This is a perfectly respectable dress. I like that there are some little details. We've got some pleating right here. I do wonder if maybe they draw a little bit too much attention to like this section. Honestly, I kind of like it. It has a tie that I'm sure is meant to tie in the back. I'll tie it in the front. They're tied like right on the side. So I think it could be maybe either one. I don't have a mirror in here, so. We'll have to see how ridiculous that looks. I'm pretty sure that I would be tied at the back, but it does have some pockets. It feels nice. It feels very lightweight. It feels just kind of like a nice t-shirt material. It does have some cuffs. The cuffs are sewn right here. They stay up and then nothing is like biting into my arm too much, which I think is very nice. Yeah, so, so far this is the clear winner. Clear, like, woo, crystal, okay. This feels kind of light, pretty, and gown-like. It's a very similar material to that last one. It feels very summer, I don't know. I honestly, this one kind of feels warm. Like, I don't know, I mean, it still is a, I wish that, I wish that y'all could reach in here and feel it, <laughs> so. But, but it's nice, I don't know that I love it. I do like the shape here, but I, I don't know, in the mirror, I just kind of looked broad. Like my goal for myself, my goal for you is that we walk out the door feeling beautiful and like having some love for ourselves with where we are. Yeah, I, I think that this one's fine. This is probably, you know, we had that meter earlier. Um, I think that this one is probably a six to a seven out of 10, which um, means that maybe barely skirting by on passing the class, <laughs> but, but yeah, um, there are no pockets. It does have this like woo slit right here. There's no jeopardy of me showing anyone my undies. And uh, yeah, so we've got one last dress to try on. Okay, y'all, this one is actually fine. I kind of like it. It is very plain. It's a super A line. You know, the only real problem that I have is that I have a very similar purple dress from Wantable that actually has, uh, you know what, it's like the surplus style and it's solid purple. So really if it was between this one and the black, I would probably go with the black. I also am going to go back and look at the film and see what I think of the little floral dress. But uh, I think that we should pull up and let's look at pricing. Both of these tops were $27.99, so $28. You know, used to, um, whenever I was watching some old Nadine West videos, I'm sorry, my dog is like right here. Lulu, move just a smidge. <laughs> whenever I was watching some older YouTube, um, Nadine West videos, they talked about how Nadine West like was supposed to be like $10 to $30. I have not found that. I've seen most things hover around the $30 mark and they've gone all the way up to like 43 in some of the bags that I have, and I think they've gone down to like 19, but not much cheaper unless it's some kind of jewelry or scrunchie or something like that. But um, <clears throat> this guy just absolutely didn't fit, $27.99. This is a 3X DNA Couture. Also $28. This one is also DNA Couture, also a 3X. Uh, this one fit, the other one didn't probably because this one has stretch to it and the other one was just a rigid fabric. They're probably actually cut the same. DNA Couture is, you know, their 3X is not cut like my 3X, <laughs> okay? Oh wow, y'all. Okay, so the most expensive item in the bag, you wanna venture a guess? <laughs> it's the white guys for $38. So these, um, they're, they're just not it. They feel just like, I don't know, I guess jeggings is the word, but they feel very inexpensive. They did at least have some room in them, but they're just not doing it for me really. All right, and then these navy plaids, these are $28. These were fine. My biggest problem with them was that whenever they stretched, even though it's a black inside, a lot of times whenever you have a stretch material that's white inside, you see through it, but it made it where it stretched like over my calves and things, it made it just look very shiny. Sometimes whenever it has that white interior, it will look a little bit white through it. Um, the belt also didn't fit. It's, 
not my size. We saw the $35 necklace earlier, so we're gonna move on to the dresses. This is the most expensive dress, but only by $1. So this is a $36 one. This is my little black dress. This was probably the winner out of the bag, was the $36, the Zanana, like a banana, banana. <laughs> one of the little minions. Ah, oh, I miss watching shows like that with my daughter. This was a good fit. I felt very comfortable in it. It was probably lengthwise, it was okay. I don't remember feeling very scandalous. But yeah, $36. Now, all the rest of the dresses are 35. So it was only the difference of a dollar. So this purple guy, my little lager right here, rawr, okay. Um, and then also the sweet little floral. So these were all 35. Okay, and giveaway. Um, so I have a giveaway of this guy that I got last time. Um, it is for $50 worth of things. Okay, so there are a couple rules that are put in by Nadine West. This has to be your first time to be a Nadine West customer. So if you have subscribed to Nadine West in the past and you left, you know, it's, it's not gonna work for you. I don't know about using a different email address or anything. <laughs> I don't know. You have to be a new Nadine West customer. I would like for you to use my code. That way I would get some credit. The, my code down in the bottom, if you use it, you get $25 worth of credit, I get $25 worth of credit. And so as long as it works the way I think it should, you'd end up getting like $75 worth of stuff to spend, which in all honesty, like the last bag, whenever I was originally pitching this, <laughs> I was like, but do you really want it? Could you find $75? I could absolutely keep two of these dresses and be perfectly happy. So my rules, and they're, I use the word rules very loosely, if you would please comment in the bottom, just telling me, I don't know, whatever you wanna comment about. Let me know your favorite brands to shop from. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like me to um, do. And then let me know that you would like to enter the giveaway. I would really like it if you were subscribed. So yeah, subscribe, comment. I'd like you to like, there's no way for me to check it, but you know, go for it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the giveaway. I will cut off the giveaway and I'll put it in the top. I'll cut it off five days from the day that I post this video. And I'll let you know in the description, like the very top of it, when the cutoff day is. I don't know how great of a giveaway it is, but it's the first one. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you for uh, being here on my crazy Nadine West journey. And uh, you know what? I will see you in the next one.